Good morning, everybody. Today I'll show you how to use Report Link Studio to link to two documents together. We have a um, calling document, uh, which we'll call called document, of course. Both reside on a, a public folder called RLS Tutorial. So, first of all, let's see how calling document is done and uh, uh, by clicking on it and uh, we'll see this is this is a very simple table with five dimensions and one measure we want to pass uh, for each row uh, the um, value of country resort and year we want to forget about service and service line and uh, today um, we will learn how to do it uh, in Report Link Studio and we'll appreciate its simplicity. On the other hand, let's have a quick look to Code Document. Code Document is a, um, is a, uh, is a document which expects three uh, refresh values for uh, each of its prompt and one prompt is called Country, here is refreshed against uh, France Resort French Riviera year 2006. We expect calling document to pass the right values to these three prompts. Now, um, configuration of report li of the link with RLS is twofold. One uh, is carried on on the file system on the server file server side file system, and one on the calling document. Let's start on the um, on the backend uh, backend side. We have to go on Tomcat Web App folder, where we have DL Creations DL Creations uh, Web App. Uh, this is what you already know. If you got a copy of RLS, if you don't have a copy of RLS. Uh, please uh, get one as soon as you can. DL Creations, RLS. Uh, we have the folder GraphLibs that matches a public folder. So within uh, GraphLibs, where we already have the ACM e sales analysis of introduction video, uh, we create a new folder called RLS tutorial. Okay. Let's have a look. We all also have a template JavaScript file. Let's copy it within RLS tutorial. And for the sake of simplicity, let's name it as calling document.js. Well, Let's open it and we'll see that it is already uh, filled with, with something. And um, <clears throat> let's forget about everything uh, which is before line 15. Line 15 starts with a, 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 an array definition, list of values. List of values matches the labels of the calling documents. Remember, we want to pass the values of columns country, resort, and year. So we copy country, resort, and year, respecting the exact writing and uh, case that we have uh, inside the call-in document. On the other hand, the called document has three prompts. These prompts are matched by the alias items um, values, the first of which is, well, inside the template uh, you already have a country label. Anyway, in this case is exactly country. So let's copy and paste it so that index 1 is called resort index 2 
is called ear. So, label country is matching prompt country. Resort is matching resort and year uh, matches year. In this case, um, the prompt label might be different from the uh, calling table label, okay? Because nobody forces us to match the two names. Only the index are matching. So index zero of this array is matching alias item zero zero. Index one is matching alias item zero one, and of course year is matching zero two. Forget about rest columns. We will uh, see in a uh, in another video uh, what this stands for. And um, this is a variable declaration. Uh, usually, it is used to uh, to set the containing path, which is RLS tutorial. In case of complex path, uh, sub paths are separated uh, using the um, uh, the usual dash. And document names contains the name of the called document. In this case, the calling document is enabled to call, to call only one document. If you see the introduction video, the uh, sales breakdown document is enabled to call two documents, two client documents, so document names uh, in that case will have two items. In this case, we only have, have one item, which is called document. Don't forget to separate to uh, leave the uh, at sign between path definition and the document definition. Okay. Filter types and window type. Now S and N. Filter types and window type have as many items as uh, document names has. So one item for document names, one item for filter types and for window type. This means that only table va uh, values are passed to the, to the called document and this means that the called document will display on a new page. Okay, we are set with this. Let's save and close it. Now, let's go to the calling document. Let's modify it and consider that the um, most difficult uh, part is done. Now, um, everything is simple. First of all, Let's add a freestanding cell to the header of the document. Then let's add a column on the leftmost side of the block. So, column, the column cells, its header, and the freestanding cell must be read as HTML element. Okay? Now, let's go back to the server side and we will see that in GraphLibs folder we also have an RLS commands text file. We open it because this is useful for uh, this configuration. Let's copy row 1 and paste it inside the table. Let's OK that and uh, let's say it, it is 
uh, probably I probably miscopied it because uh, I have the wrong values here excuse me consider me doing this for the very first time okay centered let's go here let's center the here as well let's go here to take the last value this goes here to the header and now we should fill the freestanding cell before uh, filling it now here you have to uh, configure the path to the to the JavaScript file we just uh, realized okay it was rls tutorial slash calling document dot js okay now we are set and we copy the four lines and put them within the freestanding cell now if everything went on plan we should be able to save the document go back to the um, public folder okay it was open before and you as you can see the green arrow appeared this is uh, this stands for a correct configuration of the RLS let's go down to US Bahamas Beach 2004 and let's see whether the cold document refreshes accordingly it does US Bahamas Beach 2004 so the experiment is um, successful and uh, we are set for today please do not forget to uh, to pay a visit to www.delta-lambda.com and leave a comment if you can so thank you for for attending and uh, waiting for you for for the next time bye